everybody and welcome. We are here, New Mexico Ag in the Classroom is here with Dickie Salapec. We are here at his family's uh, pecan orchard and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like to go ahead and have a full on pecan harvest. So Dickie, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the farm here um, and what it is that we're gonna go ahead and see today in terms of the harvest. Good morning. Uh, this is Tom Salapec Farms we're at. Uh, we, we're gonna film being that we can't do ag in the classroom, we're going to film the harvest from uh, shaking to sweeping to harvesting and also how we shred the branches instead of burning for, for organic matter and conservation of, of the environment. Perfect. And a lot of what they do, you guys, the last couple of years, we've actually been able to come on out here and do a live um, field trip. And so this is a different aspect to it. So. Um, can you just give us a brief um, understanding of why it is that you want kids, students, to come on out and view your pecan harvest? Well, you want everybody to know that the Mississippi Valley was built on two things, white sands and agriculture, and in, in my opinion. And so just trying to inform kids that children that are, don't have the opportunity to be around farms, how we do it, what we do, when you go to the grocery store, what you buy is milk in a gallon jug, or is it does it come from a cow? Just basic, basic farming practices. Absolutely. Which is what we're all about here at New Mexico Ag in the Classroom. So we're excited for you guys to join us today. So why don't you come on with us and we'll go take a look at what the harvest looks like. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, you guys. So the big thing that we're focused on today is making sure that we get this as our end product. These are pecans that have been deshelled and they're actually in half. So these ones specifically are called halves of the pecans. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about them because later on in the video, you're actually gonna hear how Dickie talk about the meat of the pecan. And so we wanna make sure that you guys understand what the term meat is when we talk pecan. So Dickie, why don't you go ahead and hold out your hand there. I'm going to show you guys what pecans look like after they've been deshelled. The final product of from growing them to shelling them, something we can eat and bake with. Perfect. And specifically, the pecans, if they don't have the right amount of moisture content, right? They they're not as big. They're not as full. Well, it's the the growing practices you, with a healthy tree, uh, enough water, fertilizer. You want to high quality pecan that's full of oil is what the shellers want. Okay. Uh, a pecan that's stressed would be real dry and, and undesirable, which they can't use in baking or anything. Okay, perfect. So you guys heard it straight from the pecan farmer himself. This is what we refer to whenever we talk about pecan meat. And they're tasty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tracy's bag, so hopefully she'll get it back. <laughs> So here, when a nut's fully matured and we get a freeze, that's where the nut comes out. So growing, growing, you have the husk when it's mature. And then you can see we have, at the pecan plant, we have brushes. Now some of these, like this one, is a stick tight. So for whatever reasons, that's not a, it's, it's called a pop. So it looks like a nut, but doesn't have any meat in it. So those usually don't, this would be a pop too. You can't open it unless you had a knife. And even if we had a knife, there would be no meat in it. So it's usually what happens with the pot. So when conditions are right, you don't, you don't get any early freeze. Last year, there was a major problem more south because the freeze was way too early and way too cold. And a lot of the farmers were running 20, 30% of their farm, their crop, a stick tight that would not clean up. So it's it's all it's all about Mother Nature, and you can never cuss her, you can never be mad at her. You know, it's, you're at, you're at God's mercy and 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 His strengths too when it's right. So so it's all good.
So here we're walking through where they have shook. And you can see how the tracks, how the sweepers clean on the shaker to keep it from running over pecans. And, and then from here, now the sweepers will be headed over to see the shaker, or excuse me, the sweepers in a little bit. And uh, this is what it looks like after you shake. Here he's, we're getting ready to dump, so he would push out the trailer. So everything's hydraulic, you lift it up, the man backs up. Be careful. This is the trash that comes out of our cleaning grill. All this right here so far in a week that used to have to come out of the complex. But now we, we clean out here and all it is is trash, little stuff, little sticks. 